Life was crazy. So we changed it. We sold our suburban home and moved out to the country. We dreamed of getting off the grid. Wind energy, solar power, a wood boiler, garden, livestock. But we had no idea where to start. And then an idea came to me. Hey, Jackster. What? What would you think about me starting a chicken farm out here? No. You didn't even think about it, though. I don't have time for your stupid ideas, Brad. I'm busy. So you don't have time now? We'll talk about it later. Okay. Okay. See ya. With everyone on board, I set out to meet with some chicken experts to find out which myths were real and which were not. Were chickens noisy birds that woke you up every morning? Is caring for chickens a full-time job? How bad do they smell? And how much does it take to get started? My first stop was with Sandy, a passionate urban chicken farmer. Sandy loves her chickens like, well, like family. I give them grapes every morning. Because they, they love the grapes and it's good for them. Sandy also gave me an idea of the costs of getting started. And we were probably close to $800. Okay. And then we added, when we added this, I think it was another 350 maybe. Okay. What are the costs am I missing? Um, nothing. Cabbage? Watermelon, half a watermelon. Whatever fruits you give them. Awesome. I'm My next stop was with Rachel and Matt, a young couple who took a far more practical view of raising chickens. Pallets were free because you got them where? From work. Okay. I'm a parts manager, so we, we have shipments all the time coming in on pallets. You so can get pallets anywhere. They did a lot of the work themselves, and they built a coop for under $200. Clearly, one could raise chickens without breaking the bank. I had now seen chickens living in the lap of luxury, dining on watermelon under the warm glow of a chandelier, and others perhaps one day destined for the kitchen table. And I wasn't quite sure which direction I wanted to head. My next stop was with Andrew, a legendary chicken expert who I heard took rookies under his wing. Early on, I realized his genius as he helped me to never have to install a garbage disposal. Five years ago, my wife and I bought our first house. She wanted a garbage disposal. I didn't want to install one, so I just got chickens. Chickens. You gotta be kidding me. How, how did you sell that idea? Well, I just came home with them. She didn't have a choice. She wanted to install a garbage disposal. Right. That's brilliant. Five years today, it's been five years, I still don't have a garbage disposal. Armed with this newfound knowledge and my own expert, I was ready to jump in with both feet. I hurried home, excited to share the news with my family. You can put that camera away now. Once you leave, I'll come out from hiding. <laughs> I don't want chickens. The noise, the smell, no smell. the look, I the clean every week. any of it. No. The smell and the scent is the same thing. I don't care. I don't want it. No part. But you can't classify that as another reason to not have them because it's really the same reason. But it's reason enough. But they don't smell. Clean it once a week. Takes ten minutes. How would you know? They eat vegetables. They eat bugs. They're gonna. I mean, they're gonna actually keep this place a lot cleaner than it is right now. I'm not asking you to take care of them. Oh, right. I may need you to put some food out yeah, there. Yeah, no. I <laughs> want no part of it. I won't eat your stupid eggs. I want no part of your chickens. 